Hold on to your hats, because here comes another mind-boggling instalment of Creative Sweet TV with host Mike McHugh. That's enough. No mucking around today because we've got some very exciting news coming up next week on the 1st of July. The very first Adobe Online Festival will be taking place between, I think it's about 10 in the morning and about 4 in the afternoon, where we have a gallery, we've got all sorts of really cool presentations, Adobe Live, where we have some of our key clients doing some presentations for you guys out there, as well as the Adobe Masterclass where we have presenters like me and like Michael Stoddard and uh, Brian Chow and Paul Burnett. He's all right, I suppose. There is going to be some fantastic presentations going on. So tune in for that. But today's episode is old school blending in Photoshop. Old school blending. I love a bit of old school action in Photoshop and I'm sure you do as well. I'm going for my blending tool today so you can see uh, from my my shirt there I have the uh, warp tool, I have the pen tool, I've even got the slice tool. Haven't quite got the blending tool yet, I'm going for that today so hopefully I'll have that next week. Enjoy the tip. Okie doke, if you can master this technique that we're just about to do you will achieve maximum awesomeness. That's right, maximum awesomeness. It's been in Photoshop for ages what we're about to do, but many people haven't quite mastered it yet. We're going to do two little examples of it, make sure you get exactly what's going on, and it's going to be fun. First off, we'll start off with something quite romantic, I think. It'll be a very romantic little demonstration. We're going to take this moon, I'm just going to drag it from the layer, and we're going to pop it over in front of this image we have in the background. Okay, this wedding photo. What we want to do is blend the background out of the moon and place it up here in the sky. First of all, let's make it a little bit bigger. We'll use the shortcut, uh, Apple T or Control T. We'll make it a bit bigger. And then we'll go ahead right at the top. You can either hit the Enter key or double click in the middle, or we can hit the Commit button right at the top there. So I know a lot of people have trouble pressing the uh, Commit button. bit of humor there for you. The commit button and then that will say yes go ahead and tick that. Of course it's a romance photo so there's no problem with commitment here. Let me go ahead and stick that right there, that that moon right there. Here's the trick. Instead of doing a mask or cutting a path or using the tragic wand, any of that sort of stuff, I'm going to come over here and double click the layer and we're going to go ahead and use the blend if sliders. So this is how it works. This layer, we work on the moon layer, we grab the sliders and drag it to the right and boom, the dark pixels are gone. If we use the right hand side, the light pixels are gone. That's amazing. So if we do that, and then here's the real super secret mega power tip. It's a little bit of a harsh edge, it's either on or off. So what we do is smooth that edge out by holding down the Alt of the Option key and then I'll zoom in for you guys on this because this is a tricky one. Alter Option key, we can split that in half and that will give us a smooth transition between what is transparent and opaque. And then we can fiddle around with these little sliders until we get it just right. That looks pretty good. Problem is, Moon's in front of our romance here. So what we can do now is go to the underlying layer slider and we'll do it here and drag this to the right this will bring the dark pixels from underneath in front of that's right the layer we're working on again hold the alter option key down and split it in half and lo and behold there we have we'll press ok a fantastic little clipping and we can even move it around that is pretty cool and of course it's completely editable we can double click it and get back in and make any amount of changes to that we like that's pretty cool let's do one other example we won't save that one because it was so quick we could easily do it again everyone loves a little bit of lightning right am I right I think I'm right what we're gonna do is take the lightning drop it over 
into our new photograph of Tasmania. I'm going to put it right over here. Again, we'll make it a little bit bigger and you can try this yourselves. If you've got a photo, commit button, if you've got a photo of lightning, double click the layer, drop out the dark pixels. That's right, split it in half, lightning, and then the underlying, I'll just bring some of the dark pixels in front here, put it behind the trees there in the background, and some of the light pixels as well, so it can go behind that cloud at the top there, and we'll split that in half, and there we've got lightning, we'll press OK, and I love making my own sound effects here. I could do that all day, but I'm not going to. So much fun. That's using the blend if sliders in Photoshop CS3 Extended. Enjoy. Well, hopefully you really love that tip. It can be very, very useful, even for knocking out backgrounds of logos and all sorts of things like that. So uh, yeah, have a go at the advanced blending. You can do that with just about any version of Photoshop. I remember my grandfather taught me how to do that tip. It's been around for that long. So, we have the online festival happening next week on the 1st of July. And coming up also in August, if you're in Melbourne, we also have the uh, Creative Suite Conference, a, a Photoshop Live and Creative Suite Live in Melbourne too. I'm going to have details about all of these events off my website, which is uh, down the bottom of the screen there. There's a link to the online festival, and I'll put a link to uh, Mogo Media as well there for the online festival. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you again next week. I think we might see if we can get a special guest to come and present next week. We'll see how we go. Special guests are pretty hard to come by nowadays. Signing off. Oh.